friends and I am back with another architect home remodel. I was asked to uh, remodel house number 12 um, into like a public place. This is the original architect home. This was the house that I did like. Um, I actually did a review of all of the architect homes and I'm gonna have that linked in a card on the right hand side. Um, so it's like a three-story mansion and I go over all of the inventory in the review and this is a really nice house but I have to say that when I was wondering what to do with this my uh, my original thought was a home and um, but I didn't like it. And so when I got a comment asking me to turn it into like a community center or, um, or a library, um, I started to think about the layout more. And that's when I thought about uh, making this over into a college dorm. So here is the after and they use the tan walls and and I put trees in the front and then in the back I added gazebo um, so when you come around to the front I just have some hedges and plants you know to just kind of you know give this a nice look and then I put some signs in the front and then a fountain. I actually had a dorm at my school that that looked a little bit like this. So, so it was kind of inspired by that. And so here are the front doors. A student has to use their key card. And, and then so here is the lobby. And, and so the RA, you know, or the hall director um, would sit at that desk. And then, then I put a chalkboard up here and some signs. And then over here is the mail area. And since we don't, you know, have actual mailboxes, um, I'm pretending that those are mailboxes. And then over here is the dining area. And I put those um, jars up on the wall. And then, and then here's the kitchen. Um, and students would line up uh, to get their food. No, it's a cafeteria style. And then over here is the pantry. And I'm liking this. It was actually a fun build. It took a few days. Over here is just like a sitting area. So, so I put those older couches and some books and then a water cooler. And then over here, as he has a coffee bar. Because you know, when you're in a dorm and if you're in college, you know that coffee is essential. I can tell you right now that my coffee stand at school is essential. And then over here is, is the apartment for the for the hall director and so i just um put a bed in there an armor a desk full-size bath you go out these doors i don't really have anything out here except for this room and and i just put these cafe tables uh, so students can sit and hang out and then when you come to the second floor uh, the hallways are big, so I put some some posters on the board, um, on the wall, and and then I use uh the Neo Tokyo furniture because you know it's a dorm and you know when it should be fun, and and then out here is like a game area. And then over here 
is let's see is the girls side of the dorm and and so I just have um a two person room here and and then each room has their own ensuite bath and brain um and each of the bathrooms are the same so it looks the same So in this dorm, the students each have a bookshelf and a closet and a desk and a bed. And down the hall, um, here's the other, you know, here's the other girl's room. And this is a three person room. And again, each student has a desk, a bookshelf and a closet and a bed. And then of course, here's their bathroom which is the same. So across the hall, uh, this is the boys' side of the dorm, just like uh, the other ones, except for in browns. And of course the bathrooms are all the same. And for the boys have that, uh, that black marble desk. And you come down the hall, here's the double room and and the boys just have the uh, the black desk and then these French beds. And then of course the bookshelves. And then when you go down the hall and you go up the stairs, you see a lounge area. And again, I have some posters on the wall and some couches and then here's a table when you go into this room it's a laundry area for here's the other laundry room most dorms have one but I put two go into this door um, over on this floor you know are all single rooms for the RAs I guess and so I just have that bed and I have the desk and the armoire and here's their bathroom and all the bathrooms on this floor are the same. And then here's the other room and this is a, a, a small single room with the bathroom and I had to use these bookshelves as walls because this room was one long room and I didn't want to change the walls. So when you go out and you come into this last door over here, um, it's the other bedroom and then here's the bookshelves and, and I put a divider to hide the other shelf. And so I have the bed and a lamp and a desk and an armoire and, and then here's their bathroom. You know, and as you can see, I had used the laundry items as a wall. So that is the overview of the third floor. So that is my college dorm. It's small, but it's cute. I like it. And so I hope y'all enjoyed. Have a great day.